subscribe. I have probably made a video on this before, but I'd like to make another video on this anyway. Um, and it's just to talk again about just evolution of just myself and just other points I want to make about just how content creators change and stuff. And I want to like describe things that I probably have not described in a prior video. Okay. So anyways, so there is a matter of a fact here. Okay. Obviously, my content is nothing like it was in mid-2019 when I started. Obviously, when I started, it was completely different. I did plushy skits, and yeah, that's basically what I did. That's basically all I did. Then, in late 2019, and I literally just explained this, um, my Kindle, like I explained this the other day when I was recording, my Kindle stopped up allowing me to upload videos onto YouTube. You and VR told me back at the time, you know, it's something to do with like iPad, like an iPad glitch or something, or just like any, like any device like that, like it's a glitch or something. Um, but yeah, it stopped me from uploading videos. And then I didn't end up uploading videos until um, I got a laptop that I, I say this so many times. I said this a lot, like a couple years ago. Um, wow, three years ago is 2021. Three years ago, I say this a lot Well. Um, almost three years, three years ago, around that point. Um, you know, I always say, oh, this actually, yeah, more than three years ago, a little less than three years ago, three years ago, exactly. You know, around that time I was like, you know, late 2020, early 2021, I'd always say this laptop is not meant for gaming. It's meant for school. And you know, that's why I lagged a lot on that laptop. All right. But anyways, um, yeah, I ended up starting to do, um, uh, videos where I do like Koopa voices and then I game and crap and then I decided you know what I'm going to use my own voice and then basically I took over the Ch Koopa show <laughs> basically and um then in like late 2020 I started recording laptop videos basically um some videos I'd show like the bottom bar and the top bar the entire video yeah very crappy um and I didn't even know that I could properly use OBS at one point. So I basically sometimes would, um, uh, you know, I forget exactly what would happen, but sometimes I would not be full screen. Um, I'd have to piece together clips. There'd have to be watermarks in the um, videos sometimes. But thankfully I was smart enough to be like, wait, I can actually use OBS. <laughs> I wish someone would have properly told me that. Um, but anyways, um, I used OBS Studio. You know, by the way, it's free. Um, and another story, um, for the longest of time, I was just thinking about this earlier. I, <laughs> I recorded in 720p when I realized, wait, I can record in HD for free. I think maybe at one point OBS said, oh, you have to pay to record in HD. And then it like made that free then maybe, maybe not. I don't even know. I don't even know. But you know, um, if it did start pulling that on me, I'm just going to be like, take my cash. My thumbnails aren't even HD yet, but I think they look good enough. I might buy um, premium for the thumbnail maker that I have. It's so good. Like, it's so hard to find good, like, free thumbnail makers, and the one that I have is so good. It does not leave a watermark, and it's really, it's really simple. It's really simple, and it's easy to use. Like, it's called Photojet, F-O-T-O-J-E-T. Um, it's on the Microsoft Store. I've probably been using it for over three years now. It's really good, and I'm glad I found it. I'm really glad I found it. Anyways, I'm I'm, I'm getting a little bit off uh, topic here, all right? Anyways, anyways. So, when I started recording on my laptop, I basically had this style of I wouldn't talk the entire time, and I'd be like, hey, guys, how's it going? And then I'd, you know, talk a little bit, I'd be like, that's insane, and stuff like that. And, like, you know, just as, like, a, a noobish YouTuber or something, like a newer YouTuber. Um, you know what? I'm going to show you a, I'm going to show you a clip. All right. So you can see for yourself. I, I started this game. Yeah, it's a lot easier to talk to the people because you don't have to, like, go into a certain spot. The lag was real in that video. I swear to goodness. The lag was real. Not all the videos had, like, a freaking watermark, like, on that video that I just showed you guys. But, um, some of them did. Some of them did. All right. Thankfully, not all of them. Um, but, yeah. Um, basically, that's how the style of content used to be. Um, then, eventually, I got a, well, the PC that I have now, which is, you know, actually meant for gaming. And it's actually pretty good. And I've been using it for a while. And, like, the things that I use this PC for... 
I'm just gonna tell you one thing right here, my PC will probably last a long while. Now, if I constantly played stuff like Call of Duty or like, you know, all other stuff like um, high resolution games or that, whatever the hell you call it, then, you know, it would wear my PC down a little bit faster, all right? Um, but like, you know, people say, yeah, the PC that I have is built for that stuff, all right? Take a look at uh, this clip I'm, up, uh, I'm about to show you. Is the next episode of the JB Drag Lumber Tycoon 2 series, season one. Also, I would appreciate if you guys would go check out my second channel, JB Extras and others. Saturdays I consider to be the best day of the week because the night before Saturday, like you no actually I, I phrased that wrong you can sleep in you can sleep I'm actually about to reveal something that I've never um revealed in the past before so back then um basically I it's weird as crap like um when I was I was going through I'll call this puberty a lot more back then I mean obviously my voice was deepening and basically my brain was all over the place and sometimes like I would like think about random crap at random times so it literally like screwed up my brain and sometimes would like screw my videos it was weird it was weird okay to explain a little bit more like I used to like um, be all like self-conscious it, it, it it's it was a crap show it was a crap show so sometimes that's why there were like um little awkward silences or something you know like um literally like it i i can't i can't entirely explain it i know i sound weird right now like not every teenager is like this that's just like i it's so weird it's so weird trust me i'm not a psychopath all right i just my brain was just a little bit weird back then like um my brain developing it, it was just it was just weird I'm not going to go into exact detail because that would be a little inappropriate for this channel. That is all I'm going to say. But yeah, that's how um, the videos were. That was late 2021. All right. Now, watch a clip from 2022. Late 2022. Actually, let's do early 2022. Mid-ish. I don't know. 400 subscribers before September. If I hit 400 subscribers before or after the deadline, I will do a mega collab with five, me and five of my friends. Subscribing is free, easy, and you can always unsubscribe at any time. That may be, but probably not is the shortest um, intro with like the warning in the YouTube that I've ever done. I don't know, it's probably not. I probably did shorter in the past. Today, today I'm going to be talking about a video that I thought would do pretty well, um, no matter like back then in early 2022 i even remember this now and i was watching a video back i would no, i was watching one of my older videos like a couple days ago and i'm like wait what i made a big deal about getting two subscribers i guess i did i'm like oh it says 211 that's awesome you know and i actually start to, i'm actually starting to remember that um and like i used to you know even then like it i don't i don't know how to fully explain it but that's how the videos were in like um mid 2022 about um but like what i'm trying to say is that like over time the videos slowly evolved um back then i used to have a style of where like i wouldn't talk a lot and i'd just be like hey how's it going and then i'd like you know talk kind of slow sometimes teach some life lessons and all that other stuff and have um exaggerated long intros is the cons about my videos a lot <laughs> um intros way too long way too long way too yeah way too long boring even like um most of 2023's intros were like you know even like having the intro 15 seconds was you know too long now i have them now i have them only one second all right sometimes not even a second but yeah nowadays i make sure to constantly talk every single second of the video or at least most seconds of the video and um i have here's another theme deeper voice my voice is lighter I, you know, I don't know how to fully really explain how my content was back then because it's kind of unexplainable. So that is why I simply decided to go and show you how my content used to be. I'm not going to necessarily show you 2023 because it was kind of similar to, um, it's kind of similar to now's content, 2024. But yeah, it was slightly worse. All right. Over time, I am getting better at um, creating content. You know, that's just what happens for with, with all YouTubers being a YouTuber. All right. You get better over time. And here's another thing I want to point out. Not everyone can remain the same all the time. Actually, I don't think anyone can. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe very rarely. But YouTubers grow over time. 
not grow. Well, yeah, they grow, but like um, they also like change their style of content. It naturally shifts. And um, that shift is usually unchangeable. And the thing is, is that people like change. Sometimes people don't. They're like, I miss the old blah, blah, blah. I miss the old blah, blah, blah. But people usually like shift and change. Maybe not usually, but sometimes people like shift. Like, sometimes people like change in content. Sometimes people don't. Here's one thing, though. You're going to get bored if you keep hearing the same thing over and over again. And what I mean by that is, um, like, you guys might get bored of my content if it's, like, the same way over and over again. Am I going to change up my content? Maybe my content will change a little bit next year. Who knows? Whatever the, wherever the shift takes me. And if it does, then um, for the people who are bored of watching the same style of content over and over again, well, yeah, uh, you know, it gives them a little bit, a little bit of interest. But for uh, but if my content stays the same, then like the people who like you know the current me, well, good for you. All I'm going to say is that like sh shift and change is inevitable. All right, and unfortunately, sometimes people will stop watching YouTubers when they shift and change. Sometimes people will stop watching YouTubers when they stay the same. But all I'm saying is that it's inevitable. And it is basically happens naturally. You know, people change as they get older, um, you know, and then their content changes along um, with it. And that is how it is. My content surely has changed a lot. I don't really see a lot of people saying I miss the old JB Drag Motocross boss. Um, I know a couple people who say that, not many. Um, I sometimes miss the old JB Drag Motocross boss a little bit because I gave up the vibe of just someone who was calm and chill and um, just like was just like sitting there like just like you know just talking slow and you'd like really calm down when you watch the content and you know sometimes yeah that my content now I believe still gives off that vibe like a calm vibe where you could just sit and relax but not like extraordinarily calm like I was back then and that's how it is all right.